Hello right, friends, I'm back with another video after a long time and I hope you guys are doing well and sorry for not uploading videos for a while as I got busy with my own work. So anyway, let's get back into the video and in this video, I will show you how we can add the loading spinner in our Laravel and Vue 3 application. So first of all, let me give you the demo of what we're going to build throughout this video. So currently we are on the appointment page and if I click on users, then we see this loading spinner, right? Let me go back to appointments. I can click on these tabs and you see that loading spinner, right? So throughout this video, I will show you how we can do this exact thing. So now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we need to display that loading spinner on this page, right? So now if I go to admin multi dashboard, if I refresh this page, then we see that kind of spinner, right? So we'll be using that. So let me view the page source using control U and let me source for preloader and we have this preloader. So let me copy that. And let me go to list appointments.view file. And over here, let me add that preloader. Okay. And now if I come here, refresh the page, then we see that kind of loading spinner or we see that overlay as well, right? We don't see that image. So let's fix that first let me click on this so let me copy this and instead of this path let me paste that in so now if i go over here let me go to appointments and we see this right this is fine but let's add some css first of all let's make the background is black and let's add the opacity so for that let me open up the console and we have that preloader over here and we have the background color and we can change this to black right and we can add the opacity to let's say 95 percent okay and this is fine so we'll add these two property to our preloader class so let me go over here let me add the style section and for preloader background color is black and the opacity is 95 percent okay now we see that if i refresh the page then we still see that which is fine right i see that so currently it is still appearing on this page so now we need to hide and show this preloader based on our loading state so let's define the loading state so let me go to the script section and over here let me define the reactive state called loading and by default let's make this is false okay and while we are getting the appointments we can change that to loading loading value is true and after we get the appointments from the backend then we can simply set that loading value to false okay and on our preloader and on our preloader we can hide and show based on that state uh, using v if directory so v if it is loading then we'll show that otherwise we'll not show that okay and now let me click on users we don't see that but if i click on appointments we see that preloader for a while right so which is fine let me go to network tab and then let me do slow 3g and now if I go to appointments, we see that loader for a while and it get disappeared after we get the appointments, right? So instead of showing that image, we can show the loader and we can search for CSS loaders on Google and go to this link and cssloaders.github.io and let's use this loader, okay? And to use this loader, we need to use CSS and this HTML. So first of all, let me copy the CSS. Let me go over here. And let me go to the style section and paste that in. And let me copy this HTML as well. And instead of this image, let's use that loader. Okay. And now let me go over here. Let me go to users and then appointments. We see that beautiful loader, which is great. We can also change that color. So for that, we can change over here. And let's sense this to red. Let me show you. And we see that red color, okay? 
and for now let me match that color with this button color so let me copy that color and over here instead of red let me use that and we see this color which is perfect and now we can extract this code into the separate component so that we can use that uh, throughout our applications right so if we click on users then we can show that loading spin on this page as well so let's do that part so first of all let me create the component uh, inside of this components folder let me give it a name called preloader.view file and over here let's define the script setup and the template section and inside of template we can simply copy this and then put it over here and let's copy those styles as well let me copy those actually we don't need on this page so let me remove it from here and paste that in okay and now instead of using this we can simply use the preloader component so let's do preloader and we need to import this preloader on our page so import preloader okay and this is imported and on our preloader component we are using this loading state so let's pass that state is a props so let me go to preloader over here we can pass the loading state as props and the value is loading and we need to define that props over here that we are receiving so define props we will be receiving the loading state and its type is boolean and by default it is false and required is true okay and now let me refresh it let me go to appointments and we still see that loading spinner which is great let me disable this let me try this again and we see that and on our users page we don't see that loading spinner because we are not using that component so let's use this component as well in our uh, user page so for that let me go to users and user list and then at the end let's use this component called preloader and remember we need to pass loading state and we need to import this preloader component okay so first of all let's import that preloader component preloader and let's define that state called loading and by default let's make this as false and if we get the users we can set this to true loading value is true and after we get the response back we can do loading dot value equals false and now if i go to appointments we see the loader if i go to users we see the loader which is perfect so similarly you can add that loader on different pages like settings and profile so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one